Hello my stitching friends. My name is Amanda May and this is my channel Artif Design and I am the designer behind Artif Design. <laughs> I love counted cross stitch, making things as sustainably as possible and trying to create and make all the things. If you are new to my channel, I'm so happy that you came to see what I'm all about and if you're returning, oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> this week we're gonna show, by we, I mean me, I had to lock up the pugs because they kept barking, they're in their crate. <laughs> so I will be showing you my works in progress. I've got three cross stitch works in progress and one like mixed media quilt thing. And I wanna talk about, I don't know, all things stitching. So <laughs> it's just so happy that you're here. I have some happy meal. Uh, that arrived and I ordered a couple things. I made some stuff. I just want to show you all the things. Okay. <laughs> we'll get started with this piece right here. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I did like a finishing tutorial, like a process stitch. It's on in my tutorial playlist, if you're interested, of how I made this little wall hanging. Now, I did not stitch this. This was gifted to me by Karen. Thank you, Karen. But all of these pieces, I scrap pe piece the border together and all of this I, I made myself. I was gifted the ant fabric, but everything else I had in my stash. And so I have a little video on that if you're interested. <laughs> I, I don't I had a lot of fun making it. So I do need to make a different rod. This one is way too big for this piece. I just have them on these little clippies, but for now it works out just fine. And I have the ant right set up this time. Uh, one video months ago, I was talking about the piece and I was holding it upside down the whole time. Goodness gracious. <laughs> so <laughs> here is this piece. So that is officially an FFO fully finished object since the last time we spent some time together. I have created three videos that were the non-traditional floss tube format, like time-lapse tutorial. And then I had two punch needle videos that I did in case anybody is interested in punch needle stuff. And I, I'll talk about that more later. Okay, what else? Okay. I have another kind of work in progress slash almost FFO I would love to show you. And I just displayed it on this little chicken wire thing for the video, for the sake of the video. I still need to add the binding on this, but this is gonna be a little tiny wall hanging quilt that I made. Again, pieced everything together, but this is the fun part. I made this pattern. So I designed it and stitched it and it says all bodies are good bodies. And I believe wholeheartedly that that is true. On this channel, we believe in body positivity and I totally believe all bodies are good bodies. And so with that, I had to make this pattern. It's charted all in DMC. I stitched it on a piece of optical white from Witchelt. It's a 32 count. And then everything is stitched with two threads. The flowers are stitched two threads. There's just a couple spots where it's one, one stitch of back stitch or one thread of back stitch. Uh, all my own font and I love it. So that's all in DMC and then picking just some fun corresponding little things to make it into a wall hanging. Another thing to think about for finishing your cross stitch pieces, if you don't wanna frame it, you don't wanna make a little pillow and you don't wanna make a Christmas wine gift bag like that up there. <laughs> Maybe make a little mini quilt. Now I'm still gotta go through, I'm still stitching this like I said together and I gotta add the binding, but I'm not finished quilting, but I could not wait to show you my new pattern. Now, if you're curious, if you're all into body positivity and wanting to express that, that all, you know, a 
all bodies are good bodies and you would like this pattern, well, I am going to try something new on this channel and I am going to uh, have a link in my description for you to sign up for my newsletter. So sign up for my newsletter and then next week, so it is February 9th. 2021. So the following week, I'm going to have that and I'm going to send it off in a email post subscription sent out newsletter. There's the word. <laughs> I swear I'm all professional. I swear. <laughs> so if you are interested in that pattern, go ahead and sign up for my newsletter. I will not sell your information nor will I bombard you with spam. In fact, I've had the ability to send out a newsletter for a year and a half and I have never done so. So here, you are coming along with me on this journey together. I hope. <laughs> so, <laughs> sign up, that would be great. Okay, what else did I make? I have more works in progress to show you, but I'll show you some finishes, some good stuff. Well, it's all good stuff. Okay, I got this, it's like a metal, license plate like one of those decorative things you can put on the front of your license plate i got it at the dollar store a couple years ago well it's magnetic so i decided to put this next to my sewing machine and then my husband helped me make several of my favorite pins and stuff into needle minders i will say that this one and the gnome i did not make and this one is so awesome. And I'll show you in, in a little bit what I've used it for. Okay, so this is the Tarte from It's Charm School. Um, they're on, she's on Etsy. And so you can affix this onto your piece that you're stitching and put your beads in here. And it works as a needle minder and a bead, bead caddy. Oh my gosh, amazing. I've used it, I will show you. There was sequins in there too, not just glass beads. Mm-hmm probably put your treasures in there too. Okay, I digress. So my husband got the metal, I know, highly technical language here. My husband got the metal file thingy. I forget what they're called. You know, the thingy that files the metal. <laughs> and he used a piece of like the pliers, snipper things and took the backs off of all the pins, except for these two. These are my two really awesome ones. I left the pin part, the, the brooch part still on it, but I attached the, so that, and this is my Barbara Lavalli pin. Uh, I had those. This is one of my Alaska pins. I realized I love Clausene, Clausene, Clausene. It's the, this is the the technique, like this is a clasame pen. This is cla versus, it's like not an enamel. I actually, when I went to China, um, I was, I in Beijing, I got to go to a factory that made stuff like this. And it was so amazing. Amazing. Okay, I digress. So I made this into a needle minder, this, and then this one is really cool. So this came as a pen to wear and the journey, it, it took six weeks to get to me. Like it got lost, but I finally got it and I ordered two of them, one for me and then one to just have. So it's um, Art Heels, the Jingle Dress Project. And I follow the ladies, there are four of them on Instagram. And then the professional photographer, he, he's been documenting their journey all around the country during the pandemic the women, they wear their jingle dresses and go and dance in their jingle dresses. It is amazing. So you should follow them on Instagram. Um, it's Art Heels. And so I made that into a pin, or I made the pin into a needle minder again. And then some of these favorite ones that I have, like, come on, who doesn't need that, right? I have a NASA pin. I love NASA stuff, all the space all the space stuff. So I, I had that in my collection and 
This one was pretty fancy, but I wanted it as a needle minder. And then this was like one of those 1980s, like the clip-on earrings. And I just had one of the earrings, so I made it as I, in this. And then the same with this one. This one's that cool retro, and there were two of them at one point, but I have one of them. It was all bit like the swirl. I don't know. I loved it. So that became a needle minder too. So I am officially stocked up. I bought the rare earth magnets on, then I used the E6000 glue and I'm very happy with those. So those are some goodies for stitching that I made and created. Ooh, I got some more pen stuff. Okay. All right. Oh, this will kind of go into happy meal and then we'll get to works in progress. I promise. Okay, I got this other lady I follow on Instagram and she is Pixel and Ink Creative. Pixel and Ink Creative. Okay, so she made, she's got a pin that says Raised by TV and it's like, like Rocco's Modern Life. And anyway, I, I loved it, I was, but it hit too close to home. So I got Elder Millennial and I love this so much. I haven't turned it into a needle minder yet, but I got it in the mail and my husband freaked out. He's like, oh my gosh, I need that. I'm an elder millennial. I need that. I said, well, I want to make it into a needle minder. He goes, perfect. So it'll, it'll have the magnet and then I can take it to work and use it on a magnet, you know, and I go, no, that's going to be my needle minder. He's like, no, I want it. So I told him he can have it. I said, well, why don't you just, I can get you an elder millennial sticker. He goes, well, no, I don't want to stick it. I don't want to leave it at work forever. I'm like, no, you don't have to actually physically adhere your sticker onto it. Never mind. I'll make, we'll make it into an, into a magnet. So here you go. Elder millennial. I, I loved it. And then I bought two of her buttons, but I asked her like in the special directions to not add the magnets or the pin back. So she sent them to me flat so that I can make them into needle minders. So this is says February and it's got like the gems, the holographic, and then the violets. And then this one is one of the spoonbill birds, spoonbill. And it's in her style, like the 1950s art style that I love. I don't know if you noticed, but my logo, Artith Design, is in the same like font similar to hers. So clearly, <laughs> clearly I'm a fan, right? And then I got to add to my bird wall. I've, I think I've told you all that I'm gonna do my like blue footed boobies on the wall that I have the Barbara Anna goose swan thing that was part of her be well and stitch. I've got that. I've got my two cardinals that I finished last year. The one was the Blackbird Designs. And then the other one is uh, from Wild Violet Cross Stitch. And then I also have the Barbara Anna Eagle that was in the summer issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. So I, I already have a kind of a collection of birds that I can put up on a bird wall. And then I have the art piece from Lindy Stitches. She got it from another artist like licensed it or wholesale bought. I'm not sure, but I have that in a frame, the blue footed boobies. And then, so I had to buy, oh, so this is the blue heron and I love it. So I bought the art print. It's like a five by seven. So I'll put it in and the blue heron I bought, it corresponds with the blue heron in comfort lighthouse by carriage house samplings, Kathy Barrick. But the company is now, it's owned by Marty Barrick, but I believe Kathy designed the piece, not Marty. But either way, it's awesome. <laughs> Comfort Lighthouse. And every year we have a blue heron that kind of makes his way over to my yard and he enjoys eating my fish out of my little tiny pond. <laughs> but beautiful birds. So I got... I got that to put up on my bird wall. And I really, you know, flamingos. Oh, I have the flamingo on a bike that I did. And that one was by Hot House Petunia Designs. But look at this little spoon bill. I feel like I need to design a spoon bill. We were reading, uh, my daughter's homeschooled, and we were reading the big book of animal poetry today. And 
the the page that we were the part of the assignment there was blue footed boobies the spoon bill and the flamingos um were poems by all of them <laughs> anyway so i feel like we need a spoon bill and cross stitch great blue heron so those are my art pieces happy stuff i'll we'll just talk more happy meal since we're here i got two cards Throwing stuff all over the place. I got a thank you card and Valentine's Day card from Amy up in Alaska. Yay! Amy won my giveaway for the little uh, baby, the child, Grogu, the handmade felt little little guy. So I sent that up, up north. So I got a card, a thank you. And then I got a Christmas card from Susan and this just came in. She, the postmark date is December 9th and I just got it this last week. And she sent me, oh, I think it's got the, yeah, I forgot they had the sequins in here. So she sent me like the little, the snow stuff. So she sent me snow and then, so I'm in Maryland. I, we're gonna have more snow here really soon. <laughs> more snow. I got a really cool electric, it's, so it's not gas powered, it's an electric snowblower because I'm actually afraid of gas powered uh, heavy equipment. Um, I know, I know, I'm weird, but I got, it's electric and I can, I can snow blow. I don't do it unless I have to, like if my husband's at work and I have to snow blow, then I'll do it. But if not, I'll be like, honey. And he's like, I know. Teamwork, partnership. So thank you for the cards. Oh, also I want to say um, the giveaway for Stitching Love and Kindness, my book, The 14 Projects to Do in Punch Needle and Cross Stitch for Valentine's Day and Beyond. The giveaway, I drew the winner and it was Kathy in California. And I already messaged her, sent it off on Friday, I got an email Monday night saying she got the book. I'm like, oh my gosh, yay, in two days. So thank you, Kathy, for entering. And thank you all for your enthusiasm and desire to have my book. But never fear, if you still are interested in my book, you can hop on over to my website, artistdesign.com. I have links to all my stuff. I'll have links down below. You can find it and buy it and it would be awesome. So yay. Okay, should we talk works in progress? Yes. I worked on Ink Circles Badger, the from the dawn of memes. Badgers from the dawn of memes. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. You're welcome. I love this piece. Oh, settle down. It's okay. I'm getting all excited. And then the dogs are getting excited. Uh, this is how far I got. I wish to be a little further along, but you know, life. <laughs> this needle minder is from when I did the Valentine's Day exchange with Sassy Jacks last year for 2020 when I did that. So I love this. The purple is silks for you and the rest of it's all cotton. So I've got that little corner and I'm excited to work on this a little bit more. I am stitching it two over two. Loki Pug, shh. Two over two on a mystery, like um, even weave. Uh, it, it, it's lovely. I'll just say that. It's like an off tan. I know my lighting isn't the best right now. It's, it's kind of late, uh, like dusk-ish. And yeah. Hence the not superb lighting. All right, my next project in my Moda bag that I made with the help of my son. So what could have taken me two hours took me like 19 and a half, no, only 14. So I worked on ex-ghoul friends apart and in my heart. I started with the hand and not the face. So, oh, excuse me, I did the face wrong. So here, and I stitched the entire hand 
using Valdani and it is number P, uh, Papa, and the number two, P2. And then the rest of it is like a color conversion using the old tattered flag. There's like grungy tan, grungy red, grungy white, dirty white, antique black, and that looks more like a brown, grungy gray. Oh, these are perfect. I actually wanna order more from her. The old tattered flag. She doesn't do wholesale. She Everything is, you know, retail and it's great. And I wanna order more. So, I know, I stopped talking and just show us the project. Here we go. <laughs> Stitching this. The hand I stitched with one strand of the Valdani, but it's got, well, any, yeah. And then, but two strands of the old tatter flag. So that is where I'm at with the hand. I love how the green turned out, the variegation in the green. You do see, see, I didn't stitch diagonally. I stitched row back and forth. So you can see the gradation and the difference in the colors. And then here is that my colors, I can tell you so far, the, this is Dirty Pumpkin, the dark, and then there I'm using Victorian Motto Arizona Sunset. Uh, Dirty Pumpkin, Arizona Sunset, and then Old Tattered Flag is Dirty White instead yeah. of Acru. Little Loki Apple, I need you to shush. I know you're so excited. The snow plows will start coming again tomorrow, and then they like to bark and bark and bark and bark and bark. <laughs> All right, the last cross stitch project that I can show you that I worked on was um, the Prairie Schooler T is for Time. I looked everywhere for my actual copy of this. Not just my working copy, but alas, I could only find my working copy. Oh, you skedaddle! Shh, shh, shh. <sighs> Excuse me. Thank you all for tuning in while my dog barks. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. Here, I got the clock done. I'm doing a conversion. Uh, so I, you all told me you liked the purples and the teals. So I, in the aquas, so I left it. So now I'm moving on and I'm going to put the sun in up here. So I've got to grab some different colors. I'm using, um, I just kind of did a grab and go of the sulky. Uh, Trying to see if I can show you the colors, like a grab and go of that. I don't have it written down. And this, I have the other Prairie Schooler in here that I'm working on. Um, so I do need to grab this stuff to start on the sun and move down. And then instead of it being T for time, I'm going to do T is for time Lord uh, for in like Doctor Who. And I might do it in a TARDIS blue, like just have the Time Lord written out backstitched in TARDIS blue. I'm not sure though if it'll clash with the rest of the piece, but it's gonna go up on my Doctor Who slash science slash outer space STEM. Girls are fierce, let's go to space wall. And yes, I really call that girls are fierce. So I wanna put that up on the wall. Hey now. So that'll go up. I'm just stitching with one strand over two. This is a 32 count piece of fabric that I got in the patriotic box I think 2019 from color and cotton and I sorry I don't remember what the name of it is but it's lovely so I'm doing that so those are my works in progress except in, in cross stitch and then I started on this project so I decided to do well hopefully I get my act together and actually finish this the Hoffman 2020 challenge. You can learn more about it. Not sponsored. I picked this up at my quilt store a couple months ago when I went, um, I had to go out to the chiropractor and stopped at the quilt store. My car just veered right over. So I ended up buying the fabrics for the challenge. I bought, it was like Big Sur. It's like a pretty print. And then the corresponding 
and the red tone. So the challenge is you have to use like three of the fabrics in an interesting way. And there's like all the different entries. You can do accessories, clothing, quilts, applique, best use of Aurafil thread, like the whole thing. I'm sure on the website it will tell you everything. But these are the different fabrics and stuff. Again, I paid retail for this. Not affiliated at all with the company. Um, so I worked on, I started with this and watched WandaVision awesome. and added sequins and beads onto this part of the fabric here. I, I decided, sweetie baby, stop, please, please stop. So I added the sequins here and then here I got a little ambitious and I actually cut out, um, I actually cut out the fabric here and made this and I started Loki honey okay he's not gonna stop so I'm gonna just say thank you so much for joining me this week I love you you matter and your stitching matters okay take care